I just got off work. I'm a tumbleweed, um, like a movie extra in westerns. And I was thinking about a couple of Neo Vim features, well, Vim features, I guess, that I wanted to show. So the first ones are Cope, well, Cop, Cop technically, Cop and M. So if we have some text, let's say block O text, and you want to move it, you can actually do that by typing M and then the line number you want to move it to. So let's go M1, and that'll move it to line number one. I guess it's zero index based. So actually, let's create a bunch of lines, 200 L, escape. And then let's move it to line like 98, 98 M. Oops, I mean M, 98. Okay, now it's at 98. You can also do this if we have a bunch of these. You can select and then visually move, move zero. So that'll update that. Kind of nice when moving code blocks around. You can also, VIP, oh, that selects everything. You can, let's do VIP, okay. You can copy things, so with COP, I can do COP, and then let's put this at line seven, boom. So that's kind of useful sometimes. A lot of people will visually select, delete, move up, paste, but if you know what line you want to move it to, you can just select M, type the line. That's sort of useful. Another thing that a lot of people don't know about is the expression register. So if you're in normal mode, you can insert from registers, obviously, with control R. So if I insert the last underscore, well, actually, let's look at, let's look at our registers. We've got, uh, yeah, this, the unnamed, and zero. So I can do control R, zero, insert the last inserted text, but most people know about that. What fewer people know about is the expression register. So control R to insert from that, and then I'll do equals. You can see this little equals goes here. Now you have effectively a calculator. So I can do three times six, it'll insert that. That's kind of nice, but what does this mean? It means that you can do something like this. So we've got a couple of ones. Uh, let's go QW, and then let's go shift A, yank word. So that'll insert into the A register. And now let's go up, and then the other, shift B, yank word. And then let's go back down, go O to create a new line, and then we'll go control R equals. And then we'll do control R A plus control R B. And then we'll do enter. And then we'll go zero. Oops. Zero out, close. And then let's do at W. Three. What is this? Ten at W. It's the Fibonacci sequence. Quite cool. You can achieve that in just Vim. Another thing a lot of people don't know about is, well, first of all, there's capital J to join up lines and spaces. Sometimes, though, you don't want to do that, right? You want to join without spaces, and then you can do G capital J, and that'll just do that, like that. A couple other register things a lot of people don't know about is, so there's, you can see your registers at this, right? Or you can do reg. It's basically the same thing. You can see there's the last 10 registers, and these update for the last 10 things you've deleted, so it'll kind of go back, except there is a bit of an exception. There's some other cool registers. There is the dash, which is the small delete register, so that actually, whenever you do something like DW, it'll put that into the small delete register, so we can do DW, and then if I want to insert that, I can do control R dash, so that's from the small delete register. There is also, I think, one for the last inserted text. I might be wrong, but let's check. Oh, there's the last, yeah, it's period. That's the last inserted text. There's also plus, that's the system clipboard, obviously, and equals and slash for the last search. So one, two, three, five. If we search that, we can now insert our last search text with control R and then slash, or of course in normal mode you can do quotes and then slash paste. And then similarly for last inserted text, which let's just type something, hello world, you can insert that with control R and then period. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Or you could have just hit period there, but you know, hopefully you learned something from this one. I'll catch you next time.